In this problem, we want to estimate the radius of the sun based on the angle that it subtends with respect to us. So if it's not clear what the problem is asking, basically let's imagine this is Earth and this is the sun. Obviously this is not at all the scale. But what this is basically saying is that, this is the sun, what the problem is saying is that if we are standing at some point on Earth and we're looking up at the sun, then the subtended angle, so in other words, the angle that the sun's diameter sweeps out, so these arms right here, for example, and then this is the angle theta, which is given to us as 0 0.5 degrees. And it also mentions that the sun is 150 million kilometers away from the Earth. So this length is going to be r which is the same for both of these arms here. And so we want to use this information to estimate what the radius of the sun is. So we do have a formula for this. When we have an angle being subtended by something else, the formula we have is that theta, the subtended angle, is equal to the subtended length, which is usually written as s. In this case, that is actually the diameter of the sun. So we'll just write that diameter of sun. And uh, it's divided by the arc length, or, or the. And it's divided by the radius of the arc, so r, which is the distance from the Earth to the sun. So we want to solve for the radius. So, in other words, this diameter of the sun can also be written as. 2 times the radius we want to find. So I'm going to label the radius of the sun as capital R. So theta is equal to 2 times capital R divided by small r, where small r is the distance between the Earth and the sun. So we want to solve for big R, the radius of the sun. So the main process here is just taking this equation and solving it for capital R. So I'm going to take both sides of the equation and multiply it by small r to get big R on its own, and then divide both sides of the equation by 2. So if we do that, then we get a formula for big R of 1 half of theta times small r. So the radius of the sun is equal to 1 half times the subtended angle times the distance from the earth to the sun. And all we got to do from there is just plug in the values given to us by the problem. There are a few other things to know, however. With this formula only works if we're using radians and not degrees. So I'm going to convert the angle from 0.5 degrees into radians by using the conversion factor, dividing by 180 degrees, and multiplying by pi radians. So that'll convert from degrees into radians. And then we want to multiply it by small r, the distance from the Earth to the Sun, and that distance is given to us as 150 million kilometers, so we'll have to multiply it by 10 to the power of 6 to account for the million part, but we'll also have to multiply it by 10 to the power of 3 to account for the fact that it's kilometers instead of meters, so that'll get that length into meters. So if we put this into our calculator, we find a radius of the Sun 6.545 times 10 to the power of 8 meters. And your textbook might round this down to one significant figure. So your textbook or teacher might actually want you to give an answer of 7 times 10 to the 8th power of meters as a, a way of rounding it. But either of these answers are correct. And that's it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing as it'll help me make more videos like this. And if you have a question, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to clarify anything if needed. If you have a request for a future video or you'd just like to hang out, my Discord server and my Twitch page are linked in the description below, so check those out if you'd like. But that's all for now, and I hope you all have a lovely night. Bye bye